Okay, I just want to preface this by saying we're not just doing this because we love Zlatan. Oh my God, oh my God. He just doubled it, he just doubled it. Zlatan Ibrahimovic starts it 4-3. Oh my god! I mean, we do love Zlatan, but it's not the only reason. This is a club we've had a soft spot for for a long time. Their fans are just awesome. Their story is incredible, and if you don't know, well, strap in, because I'm about to tell you. Oh yeah, here we go. It's about to get weird. Come on, Tino. Have you seen the comments? Take it easy. Whatever, bro. I hold back for no one. It's your new favorite club, baby. Episode three, this time we're in Stockholm, Sweden, with Hammerby. Hammerby, Hammerby, Hammer, Hammer, Hammerby. Okay, so to tell this story properly, we're gonna have to go back. And I mean way back to 1889, to the founding of Hammerby Rowing Association, AKA Hammerby Hammerby Rod Ferring. Hammerby Rod Ferring. So it was founded by this guy, Axel Robert Schomthal, who, like many of his 19th century sporting pioneer counterparts, had an incredible patch. By 1897, the club had diversified into different sports, with football quickly becoming the focus. Now, normally this would be the part where I tell you about the glory days, but Hammerby, aka Bayern, is not a club with a winning tradition. In fact, in just over 100 years of playing football, they've won the league once, in 2001. But what a win it was. You see, it's not really about the winning. It's how you win. It's about the fans, the stories. This is what Hammerby does better than anyone. Hey, These guys basically founded active, organized supporters culture in Scandinavia. It seems like the worse they do, the higher attendances they get. And it's no coincidence that they call themselves bad weather fans. With typical attendances of 20,000 all the way up to 29,000 since moving to their new ground, Hammerby are easily one of the best supported clubs in Sweden. Up until 2013, the Soto Stadion was home to Hammerby, which locals are still super nostalgic for. But with a 15,000 person capacity, the Bayern were long overdue for an upgrade. Their new home is the Tele2 with 40,000 seats and a retractable roof. The arena is home to some incredible scenes. To the frustration of locals, but the absolute enjoyment of ourselves, they share the stadium with rivals Jurgarden, which means that atmospheres during the derby there are absolutely electric. There's a little tension to say the least, but Jurgarden aren't their only rivals in the city. You also have to think about AIK. And their derby looks a little something like this. Football is religion for Hammerby. In fact, Bayern fans march together in the thousands on Christmas in what is objectively a lovely tradition. It's nicht Bayern, exactly. it's Bayern! And just like any good religion, there's conflict, drama, and idols. And, as idols go, it doesn't get much better than Kennedy. The football manager players out there will immediately know what I'm talking about. The guy is a virtual legend. And, in the real world, a Hammerby hero, responsible for perhaps the finest moment in all of football history. In his final home match, he netted an incredible 30-yard, top end worldy free kick, and then celebrated in style by catching a beer thrown from the crowd. Salute that man. <sighs> Side note, I've interviewed him twice. He happens to be the nicest guy in the world. Meet your heroes, kids. And of course, we couldn't do this episode without mentioning the elephant in the room. That's right, the biggest man in football himself, Zlatan, has bought into the club with a 23.5% stake. Yeah, okay, I mean, it didn't go down that well, right, guys? Because obviously Malmo desecrated his statue in front of the ground, but it still means Hammerby's pretty dope. So that's Hammerby. Incredible support, endless passion, and everything you could ever want from a football club. And next time you're in Stockholm, make sure you catch a game. You won't regret it, and they might just become your new favorite club. Thanks for watching, guys. We've been loving your suggestions. This show is all about giving recognition to clubs that have incredible fan scenes, but don't get quite noticed on the pitch. So keep your comments coming and tell us who we should talk about next. This is this episode of your new favorite club.